Ah. What's good? Another interview, another day. We out here in Greenville, North Carolina. Right now, I'm here with Northside Mike, man. What's up with it? Northside Mike in the building. Northside Mike, how'd you get the name Northside Mike? <laughs> Shit, man. I'm from the north side of my city, for real. That's okay. really how I got it. Okay, that's what's up, man. We started calling me Northside Mike. Really, I went to a uh, school on the south side, mm -hmm. and then I was the only nigga from the north, from the north side. There. They respected it, so uh, the teachers and everything was calling me that. Oh, even the teachers? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's fire. <laughs> All right, man, so what brings you out here to uh, Greenville, man? Really Why are we out here today? Trying to, trying to network, for real. Just trying to get my music out there. How long you been doing music? So I was about five, six, but... I've been Jeez. dropping music since I was like 18. Gotcha. That's when I first got in the studio, but I've been writing music and everything since I was like five, six. Uh, what made you, so you said you've been writing music. What finally made you to take, uh, what made you decide to take that step to take it serious? Uh, to be real, I had lost like two homeboys, two friends. Yeah. So around that time, I just started. My first song I dropped was about my little brother who died. So mm -hmm. that's really how I started. Everybody fucked with it. And I just kept going. Everyone. I was in high school. And then you just like, well, oh, I can do this. Type yeah. Shit. <laughs> I been know I could do it, but then I'm like, I'm going to do it. Where where you want to take it? Where you trying to get signed? You trying to stay independent? What you trying to do with it? Which, I'm trying to go the best route. I ain't even going to say Which independent. Way? Well, I'm independent right now, but I'm going to try and go the best route. What's best? Any way that's going Help me and my family in like the best situations where I'm going for uh, around the right people. Are you opposed to maybe moving to a, a bigger city or are you trying to stay here in the Carolinas? Oh no, I'm definitely trying to move. I still stay <clears throat> I stay in my city right now. Yeah. But I'm I'm definitely trying to move out. And you can't stay in your city forever though. Any particular mine. place like Cali, uh New York, Atlanta. Oh, nah. I'll move to the A. The I, a? I'll probably move up. to Cali, but I don't know. It don't matter. <laughs> you ever been there? Yeah, I've been to the A before. I ain't never been to Cali. To Cali? Got to visit, man. It's big as fuck, you know what I'm saying? A lot of I'm opportunity. I'm going soon, though. Yeah, going tap soon. in. We out there, so tap in. Tap in with me, man. Um, So you performed today, right? Yeah. What uh, songs did you perform? I did some unreleased shit. One called Quay Tovin and the Quay other one Tovin. called Good Die Young. So everybody here got exclusives. They heard exclusives today. Because yeah. yeah. it ain't dropped yet. No, they ain't dropped yet. <laughs> when, when are they dropping? I'm supposed to be shooting the video to the Quay Tove and shit with my boy Hayes probably like next week. Nice. So I already got the, I shot the video to Good That Young in March. I just been sitting on it. I just I got videos I just been sitting on. So when you release your projects, whether it's a single or a project or a video, is there kind of like strategy behind it or is it more so just how you feel? Okay, now's a good time to drop it or not? No, I mean, sometimes it is, but that's what I'm trying to do now. I'm trying to get better at that. At, at promoting. Usually I just drop, but that's not really how you do it. You got to promote Planet. yourself. Yeah. Market. Facts. Do better, get better. If you could get a feature from any artist in the industry, money doesn't matter. You just pick and choose and they like, yes, I'm down. Who would you get a feature from? And why? I probably got to say... I fuck with Dirk Heavy for real though. Dirk? Uh, okay. I fuck with Dirk Heavy. I've been fucking with Dirk since so I was like laughing. Like his music. Like I just fuck with Dirk. I don't hear that a lot actually. Uh, I interview a lot of artists asking that question. That's I, I heard Dirk a Heavy. couple times. Is there a reason why? Just because you just like his sound? His Not music? like his music though. I, I, I feel that shit though. I feel it. Okay. I feel that shit. Like, so now to that same question, um, if you could go on tour with anybody, who you going on tour with? Now that's different. We got to think about the stage presence. We got to think about the energy. We got to think about all of that. Who are you going on tour with? Mm, I'd probably say somebody like Meek. Meek? He one of my top, one of my top rappers too. I've been watching him since I was, since I was young, yeah, like his old little freestyle <laughs> videos and stuff. Going hard on the street. <laughs> okay, man. What I mean, what's next for you, man? What, what, you know what I'm saying? We got more shows after this media run thing or like, what you got in the um, I got a couple I got a couple stuff lined up. Like I be doing little college uh shows and stuff. But I'm finna start dropping more music, more videos, and just moving around more like what I'm doing now. Exactly. Showing face. That's what's up, man. Any last words before we get out of here? Nah, for real. Just follow me on Instagram at Northside Mike with an L. There you go. Long live Jay Marlon. Uh this is Adrian Nice, mouthing out. We out. Peace. <laughs>